Welcome to your uh, new position at Wolverhampton as the new uh, Vice Chancellor. I know you've been in in situ for a few weeks now. How, how have you found it early early weeks? Well, thank you very much, Paul. Um, absolutely great. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute of my uh, time here. I, I'm in my fourth week, so still very early days. Um, I've been made very welcome by staff um, and uh, really enjoyed speaking to uh, a really broad range of staff at, at all our campuses. Uh, so I'm beginning to kind of form an early view about what works well here, what areas we might need to kind of concentrate on. Um, and the one thing I've really picked up as I've gone around is a real sense of pride in what the university does, uh, particularly around social mobility and uh, transforming lives. Um, and I'm really pleased to, to, to see that and uh, really keen that we hold on to that as we move forward in the next few months and years. Yeah, you come from a similar background in terms of geography from Bolton and then you worked in, in Burnley yes. um, and worked within the Greater Manchester area. Do you, do you see uh, that as helping you to um, assimilate, if you like, into the area of Wolverhampton and, and the Greater West Midlands? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, th I think you're right, there are many, I mean, no, no, no place is identical, of course, and every place has its own history and tradition and legacy and, and is therefore kind of shaped very significantly by that but there are a number of common areas in terms of uh, probably you know some of the heritage there and, and uh, the fact that places like parts of the Midlands, the North West, Greater Manchester, Lancashire have come out of a, a background that had a very heavy industrial um, basis and foundation and uh, Clearly, uh, every area has had to kind of work out what a post-industrial landscape looks like for itself, uh, and indeed what that means for the residents who live there in terms of their life opportunities, their their prospects, their kind of jobs. Um, so, so that extent, it's quite helpful uh, that I spent uh, uh, a good part of my time for the last twenty years within Greater Manchester. Um, uh, again, you know, a, 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 a dense urban area, um, you know. Lots of exciting things happening as well, but with its fair share of challenges. And then again, moving to East Lancashire, a place like Burnley, you know, again, not that too dissimilar in terms of some of the economic and social challenges that are faced by, by communities there. So there is a lot of that experience that I can bring here to this role. Um, and really importantly, you know, within this role then to kind of really understand what the role of the university should be in terms of helping partners and communities uh, um, achieve better things uh, over, over the next years and, uh, and months. Yeah, because you worked within the NHS, you worked within the devolved Greater Manchester Combined Authority, right. as well as your educational background. Yeah. How do you see that as helping you in, in this role? Yeah, uh, but both, both, both really relevant. So uh, I think the advantage I have is to be able to see the world of university from a number of lenses from the outside. You know, so, um, you know, when, when I kind of think about the combined authority um, and what combined authorities are, are trying to deliver along with their other statutory partners, you know, it's, it's very much about thinking about how um, we help communities and families start well in life, um, how to live well, have meaningful, prosperous, fulfilling lives, and then at the other end, of course die well and uh, within that you've got all the statutory agencies playing a role, you've got the private sector playing a role clearly in terms of jobs and the NHS played a role at either end. Of course, you know, it's there right at the start, it's there right at the end. So understanding that kind of ecosystem of, of organisations and partners all coming together to make that possible is, is, is really helpful. Um, and then within that kind of... Um, Real understanding then exactly where a university makes its contribution, yeah. uh, and it's quite, quite, quite amazing that a university like Wolverhampton, where we see ourselves as a civic university, actually our contribution is quite wide. So we start right at the one end in terms of working with children in primary schools and secondary schools in terms of raising their aspirations, kind of thinking about you know universities are possibility for you. You know, don't think it's a possibility for for somebody else. And there, you know, the work we do with, with those schools and children is not about encouraging them to come to this university. It is just about raising aspiration and saying universities is, is a place for you, should you decide that's where 
you might want to be uh, when you're 18 or indeed even older. Um, we then kind of think very carefully about uh, how we give the widest possible access to the university in terms of opportunity, you know, so uh, as well as relying on the kind of traditional kind of entry qualifications like A-levels, you know, we will look at kind of wider, uh, wider criteria and uh, if we can assess uh, anybody in the community uh, who we deem has the potential to benefit from higher education, then we are keen to kind of ensure they have the opportunity to access the university. Uh, what we do whilst they're here is really important, so it's not just about the academic side of gaining subject knowledge, it's all the softer stuff we do in terms of emotional intelligence, um, communication skills, you know, all the stuff that really matters as they go out into, into the wider world. Or, or, you know, many of them already have jobs, of course, but you know, they, they're kind of thinking about going that bit further. Uh, and then it's that graduate retention piece. So fundamentally what we do as a university in terms of uh, that, that wider combined authority piece and where our local authorities are trying to make a change is we are um, upskilling the residents of Wolverhampton and, 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 and just beyond. And, and, and just to say on that point that around 77% of our students come from within a 20 mile distance of, of the university. Yeah. We are a very local university, we're very proud of that. Um, but that upskilling piece is really important uh, because what we know about a graduate level um, workforce is you get more entrepreneurship. You know, students will leave here and set up their own, their own business, create jobs for others. Um, you get students who are going into businesses, helping them become more productive. And productivity is a big challenge for UK PLC, so that graduate level workforce really matters. Then the other bit is um, investors, particularly foreign direct investors, but also kind of investors beyond, tend to like to invest in areas where there is a graduate level workforce. The higher the skills, the greater the confidence of that investment coming in. So you can see how the university kind of contributes um, on a number of those strategic uh, areas of importance for our other statutory partners. You know, that, that's kind of really important. And then when you think about the NHS, of course, you know, we, we are one of, the, one of the bigger providers of things like nursing. We've got lots of other uh, areas as well, social work, uh, allied health professionals, for example. And therefore, we're, we are one of the biggest providers of the key worker, key work, you know, key workers workforce. Um, uh, and given some of the challenges the NHS faces around workforce, you know, uh, it's really important that what we do is we take residents from the community and we skill them into being able to take up jobs in the in the NHS. You know, that's a, that's a really really important piece of what we do. So that contribution is quite significant. It's broad, um, and understanding health because I was fortunate enough to be the chair of a teaching hospital in, in Lancashire. Again, it's really helpful because I've seen it from that side as well in terms mm -hmm. of some of the challenges the NHS faces. And again, I can see how, as a university, what we do is really important. Um, and in my, my kind of early, not very few weeks that I've spent here, uh, my early impression is we can probably do much more in terms of NHS workforce development. You know, there are lots of areas that uh, the NHS is, has shortages in terms of, in terms of skilled workforce, and whilst we're doing things like nursing, etc., you know, I think there's lots more we should be doing, and hopefully we'll be doing over the next few years in that space.